Some have waited months, others years. They were told of no time frame, no reasoning, and no explanations given. But finally, after countless years waiting, many desiring to enter one of the most respected professions in the federal government can begin their journey. Only for some, the dangers lurk. Next week, the Federal Aviation Administration and the United Wand Waivers Professional Association plan to announce an open bid for the air traffic control facility known as the New York Tracon, or N-90. This rarely discussed facility is home to some of the most intense air traffic in the country, and the statistics don't lie. Last year, only three out of 700,225 trainees certified, and that's only counting the ones named Dave. Controllers are forced to work in squalid, horrendous conditions where the workdays can sometimes be over 30 hours in length. This is possible due to the ungodly amount of traffic that warps space-time. With over 5,400 pizza options within a three-mile radius, what would otherwise be friendly discussion often boils over into downright chaos and brawls as hungry New Yorkers debate where to go for the area chow run. Even if you do decide on a place to eat, the chances of getting more than one half mile on the Meadowbrook State Parkway before hitting bumper to bumper traffic is approximately 1%. The snow. Each winter, it is an annual tradition that somehow literally every New Yorker forgets how to drive in the snow. For this reason, many experience symptoms of hypothermia. Luckily, their blood is brought back to a boil when they request to be transferred, and it's denied. Please, think before applying. Air traffic control is exciting, but it's not for everybody. Good luck.